Good evening, I'm Chad Chatterley and welcome to WERD, Channel 13 Evening News of the Weird, where we bring you the strange, the odd, the downright what? From all over the world, past and present. And now we take you to Veronica Happily in an undisclosed location where she has discovered something pretty weird. Hello Chad, a man named Balaam was summoned by the king of Moab and went to see him. The king was afraid of the Israelites who have recently entered his area on the way to the Promised Land. You see, the Israelites have been defeating all the enemies that they come against, and the king wanted Balaam to come and call down a curse on them. That's an interesting story, Veronica, but I'm not sure that counts as weird. Oh, that's not the weird part, Chad. You see, Balaam's donkey started acting very strangely on his way to Moab. Perhaps you'll understand better if we talk to someone who was there. Yes, great. An interview with Balaam will clear things up. Oh, I don't mean Balaam. I mean his donkey. His talking donkey. Donkeys don't usually talk, Veronica. No, Chad. That's what makes this very weird. Hello there. Can you tell Hello. us your name? Zippor. Well, Zippor. Can you tell us what happened the other day? First of all, Thank you for having me on. I love Channel 13 Newscast. Well, we were going down the road just as nice as you please, when suddenly I saw an angel standing in the middle of the road with a sword. I didn't want anything to do with that, as you can imagine. So I got off the road and went into a field. Well, that got me a beating from Balaam. So we get back on the road. Once again, I see the angel with the sword. There's no field to go into this time. There's a wall on either side. I try to go around the angel by staying close to the wall. Well, I guess uh, I sort of crushed Balaam's foot against the wall in the process. So the guy gives me another beating. The third time the angel came around, we were on a path so narrow there was nowhere for me to go, so I just stopped and laid down, and that got me, you guessed it, another beating. I've been this guy's donkey for years. I've never been anything but faithful to him. You would think that he would take that into consideration. I understand he didn't see the angel. But you'd think he'd know by now I wouldn't steer him wrong. Well, by this time, I'd had it and gave him a few choice words. That brings me to a big question. How did you give Balaam a few choice words? Well, the Lord opened my mouth so I could talk. And I'm glad he did, because I have a lot to say. And I've been talking ever since. I've noticed it. The Lord opened Balaam's eyes so he could see the angel. Balaam realized that he was wrong for beating me those three times and wrong for going off on a reckless path that he was on. He offered to go back home, but the angel told him that he could continue on to the king of Moab, but could only deliver the message that God gave him. I think that's what it's all about. Uh, Letting I God oh. guide and direct you. He has a path for each of us. Well, I did have a question. And he oh. wants us to walk with him on that path and not go on our own way. You know, you don't seem that happy in person. Look, I Chad, it looks like I'll be here Veronica a while. Uh, maybe we should go People back to you in the studio. Happy, Thank you, Veronica, for that very vocal and very weird story. Well, that concludes our show. Until next time, thank you for watching, and good night. Good night, Chad.